was filed June 3rd, 1980. It is the record of a South American UFO incident with hundreds of witnesses. La Jolla, Peru, April 11th, 1980. 1,800 military and civilian personnel are on shift at Mariano Melgar Air Force Base when a round-shaped object is spotted hovering in restricted airspace during the morning hours. At first, the thinking is that this is a weather balloon, but there was a clear concern here about espionage. This is a sensitive military establishment. It's restricted airspace, so this is perceived essentially as an incursion Pilot Oscar Santa Maria is immediately scrambled to shoot down what they now suspect to be an espionage balloon. At the time, Mariano Melgar was considered Peru's most strategic base, storing weapons and recently purchased Soviet combat aircraft. Santa Maria races to intercept the object before it reaches sensitive military installations nearby. He is flying a Sukhoi 22. A Soviet-made ground attack fighter equipped with a 30mm cannon. At the 2013 citizen hearing on UFO disclosure, Santa Maria reports his encounter. He says he rapidly locates the target and places it in his firing site. Acting with a shoot-down order, Santa Maria doesn't hesitate to complete his mission. One hit with a 30 millimeter with an explosive bullet in it would take down most aircraft. That's all it would take. But that's not what happens. The Defense Intelligence Agency report states the pilot fires upon it without causing any apparent damage. To his utter amazement, he scored a direct hit on this object, but it had no effect. It was as if the rounds just seem to disappear into the object and have no effect whatsoever. But Santa Maria is a well-trained pilot, and he lines up the target again. Only this time, the target takes evasive action. Santa Maria turns on his afterburners and accelerates to one and a half times the speed of sound. But he just can't seem to gain any ground on the object. The DIA report states the pilot tried to make a second pass, but the UFO outran the Su-22. Santa Maria makes several attempts to engage the target, but every time he gets to within firing range, the object descends. It's almost as if it's anticipating his every move. It's as if this object is almost toying with him. The pursuit takes Santa Maria to nearly 20,000 meters, the edge of the troposphere. 22 beyond its operational ceiling, and is now in unknown territory. Then, a warning sounds. In this moment, I had the signal of low level of combustible, indicating that it had sufficient combustible to return to the ground. Santa Maria makes a desperate final push toward the object before turning back. But as he gets within 100 meters, he makes a startling discovery. Peruvian pilot Oscar Santa Maria is finally within 100 meters of the target he thinks is an espionage balloon. But what he discovers astounds him. Y al observarlo quedé sorprendido de apreciar que este globo no era un globo sino que era un objeto de 10 metros de diámetro que en su parte superior tenía una cúpula esmaltada no metálica de color crema y en su base tenía una superficie circular metálica ancha de color plateado. Asimismo, no poseía alas, motores de propulsión, ventanas, antenas, toberas. Realizing the object is a UFO, he does not fire. It's clear to him at this point that further pursuit of this object is, is impossible. The thing has been running rings around him, and now he's out of fuel. It's the point of no return. He has to go back, otherwise he's dead. Santa Maria begins a desperate descent to safety. The UFO does not fall. The object then hovers around Mariano Melgar's restricted airspace, 
for another two hours before vanishing. The DIA report states, apparently some vehicle was spotted, but its origin remains unknown.